Skybox. I'm back. It's me, Mabu Chowdhury, aka the People's Coach, aka your host and speak up for today. Welcome back to more of my educational and motivational videos where I will be talking to you guys about some different areas and aspects of life. One subject per video. Now, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about sticking at your marriage. Yes, that's right, people. There's so many relationships, marital relationships that are crumbling left, right, and center. And you know the funny thing is, the funny thing is people have not have not got the patience to stick at it. They bail. They bail out way too early. And let me bring something to your attention. Everything takes time and effort with patience and consistency. You have to persevere. How can you expect to achieve or expect great results if you don't stick at it, if you don't work at it? A lot of the times, majority of the times, people don't want to make the effort into their relationship. They don't want to put the work in and they wonder why their relationship is crumbling and falling apart. Because they're quick to blame one another rather than taking accountability and being responsible. This is the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention. Every single thing requires work. You have to stick at it. Because the funny thing about relationships, it goes up and it goes down. It goes up and it goes down. It's like a tidal wave. It's a good Hello. Son, come here. Say hello to the people. Hello. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? I love my dad. I love my dad's hobbies. Huh? Alright, son, get back to your plane. I'm talking. So, I do apologise for that interruption. I will be getting interrupted from time to time throughout the video, but please excuse me. At the end of the day, I still have got, uh, I still have to, I can't even get my words together. At the end of the day, I still have to convey this message. And that message is that you have to work at it. Don't bail out too early. And it has to be a committed thing, a two to mutual decision with one another. You have to work out it. You have to be in it for the long run. Son, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm writing. Like I said, people, I do apologize for the constant interruption. Now, son, come here. Leave my pens, leave my books alone. That was enough for you. So as I was saying, people, back to what I was saying, everything requires work, everything requires time and commitment and sacrifice. Let's not be of those people whose relationships have fallen apart, whose relationships have crumbled. You will face your hardships, you will be tested in so many different areas in your relationship, in your marital relationship, with your health, with your wealth. Your skills will be put to the utmost test. Your skills of patience, your skills of tolerance, your skills of kindness, your skills of mercy, compassion, love, tenderness and care for one another. I'll tell you what, if you really genuinely love one another, you care for one another, you will stick at it, you will work at it. Relationships, great relationships go through so many tests, trials and tribulation. And the defining factor is how you work things out. The whole essence of the relationship is to try and get together and work problems, challenges out with one another. You're, you're here, you're in a relationship to be a part of one, a team, working together, trying to sort problems out together, not have a go at one another, not tear out each other's hairs. It's not about that, people. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention. So, majority of the times, you just have to nip your ego in the bud. You have to swallow your pride and just give in to the battle. Face defeat, even if you're at, even if you're in the right. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention. How many times do you always have to be right? How many times do you always have to have the last say? Yeah. Do these things actually matter? Because let me tell you something, even if you are right, even if you have the last say, it doesn't mean to say that your opinions may overrule the situation and everything's all blessed. You can be right, but it doesn't mean to say that the relationship will be improved. No. Because sometimes you can be right and make the other one feel small. And it doesn't actually help the relationship dynamics. So people, the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention is, 
always work at it. Just because a relationship might not be great at one particular moment, it doesn't mean to say it has to stay that way. Relationships are always going through different transitions. Through good to bad, to, from bad to worse, to a breakup, to a bust up. From your highest lows, your happy times, your, and there'll be times when you are at the where you feel the most love, that you're so in love with your partner, and there'll be times when you're just angry and upset with your partner. But that's all. That all comes with the territory of relationships. That all comes with the territory of marriage. And I'm sure you're aware of this. Nothing is always going to remain consistent for so long. Like. For example, a happy period for such a long time. It will have its ups, it will have its downs. And I'm just trying to bring something to your attention just in case if you've forgotten. A reminder, that's all it is. And the rant, today's rant is just a reminder for you guys to work at it. So people, don't be in them situations, don't be in them type of relationships where it's just falling apart. Because the time you cannot work one thing out with one partner, what's to say you'll be able to work things out with another partner if you keep on going on the way that you're going on. And that is a two-way thing. So, people, that is my rant for today. Until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to power and inspire the lives of many as well as yourself. Bye for now.